on a personal level. Um, it's really easy for us, like I was telling the kids in the, the children's message, to look at your life and essentially try to work out all of the symptoms of your sin without actually dealing with the internal struggle of sin in your heart. Um, so one of the things that human beings are really bad at is diagnosing ourselves. Uh, so I remember the story, it's just, it always sticks in my mind, of a, an old pastor who was doing marriage counseling. A couple came into him and it was exactly how you would expect. You know, they're at each other's throats. He, she said this, he did this, the whole thing. They're thinking about getting a divorce. And the pastor listens to them for a while and then he says, how much sleep are you getting a night? And it turned out the answer was barely any for both of them. And are, what, are you, what are you eating? <laughs> Turns out mostly junk food. And are you exercising at all? Turns out, not at all. So he says, why don't you just go get a good night's sleep, eat something that's good for you, and go exercise tomorrow, and we'll talk about this then. And they didn't come back because they had fixed their problem. They thought the problem was each other. They thought the thing was on the surface. It was because he said or she said or he did or, or she did, but the problem was really below the surface. Now, I'm not saying that this is how you should do all marriage counseling, but my point is to say we very often want to deal with something on the surface without actually getting below the surface. So we see maybe a sin that we fall into regularly and we say, you know what, I just need to buck up with the willpower and I need to fight against that sin. When actually the problem might be a whole lot deeper than that. Maybe the problem is I don't actually see myself as a valuable person. Like, because I don't understand the gospel, that, that Jesus has baptized me, that Jesus gives me his body and blood. And so when I fight against that sin, I think, yeah, I mean, I could, I'm supposed to fight against it, but I don't matter all that much anyways. You see how that can happen? We, we can try to clean up the outside without actually dealing with what's, what, with what's going on inside. And so Jesus says, like, if that's how you're operating, you miss the point of Christianity. The point of Christianity is we are all unclean. We are all defiled. We are all sinful. And Jesus doesn't say, come here, clean your life up. I'll give you some principles for cleaning your life up. He comes into you through your baptism by the power of the Holy Spirit and cleans up the things from the inside. And that comes from weekly repentance, daily repentance. That you're coming to God and saying, I still am a sinner. I still need your power. I still need your forgiveness. Please come into my life. That practice is actually going to be far better for clean up the outside than actually trying to clean up the outside of your life. 